Uh, welcome to today's session. We are going to start today immunology section and today will be the first session of immunology that is immunity. The uh, learning objectives of today's session include we will discuss what are the various type of immunity like innate immunity, acquired immunity, then we will discuss the differences between innate and acquired immunity, what are the various bridges that can connect innate immunity to acquired immunity and also we will focus on various other type of immunity like local immunity, adaptive immunity etc. We will proceed. So what do you mean by immunity? Immunity is, is a Latin, uh, it, it has been derived from a Latin word called as immunitas. The meaning of this is freedom from disease. Okay. So, it is defined as resistance offered by the host against any foreign antigen or any foreign substances. Okay. So, immunity means it is the resistance offered by the host against a foreign substance like any of the infections or antigens. The resistance what we offer against a foreign substance, it can be present right from the birth or it can be developed, it can be acquired during the course of the life. I will ask you one question. If a newborn baby is being exposed to some infection, can it develop any kind of immunity to the infection? Yes, that is called as innate immunity. Okay, so immunity can be of two types, innate immunity and acquired immunity. Innate immunity means the resistance offered by the host against the foreign antigen which is present right from the birth. Whereas acquired immunity is the resistance what we develop during the course of the life. Okay, we will discuss more about this in the subsequent slides. So, first we will focus on innate immunity. Okay, so as I have told you, innate immunity is nothing but it is a resistance developed by the host towards an infection which is present right from the birth. And this is usually due to the genetic or constitutional makeup of the individual. Genetic or constitutional makeup of the individual. Okay. Innate immunity usually occurs in minute. Okay. When a, a newborn baby is exposed to some infection, he can develop some kind of resistance towards the infection. Uh, this is called as innate immunity. For example, the classical example of innate immunity is the classical component of innate immunity is phagocytes like neutrophils. So, when an infection occurs to a newborn baby, the neutrophils first will migrate to the site of action. So, this migration takes place in minute uh, that is innate immunity occurs very soon uh, following the antigenic challenge. And there is no prior exposure to the antigen is required. Even for the first time when the antigen or when the infection occurs to the newborn baby, he can develop innate immunity and the phagocytes can go to the site of infection in minutes. Prior exposure to antigen is not required. Okay. Innate immunity is non-specific. Very, very important. The most important difference between innate immunity and acquired immunity is acquired immunity is specific. The, uh, the components of acquired immunity are T cells and B cells. These are very, very specific. Each T cell and each B cell are educated to uh, develop immune response towards a particular antigen. In contrast, the components of innate immunity are non-specific. Example, phagocytes. The same neutrophil can, can go to the site of infection by any, by any of the organisms, okay. Whatever organisms can infect, 
the neutrophils can go to the site of infection and they can try to provide some sort of uh, protection. So, they are non-specific, they can be stimulated against any uh, diverse group of infections. And though they are non-specific, the diversity of innate immunity is limited. In contrast, acquired immunity, the diversity is wide. In contrast, the innate immunity, the diversity is restricted. The cells uh, mediating innate immunity like the phagocytes or NK cells, they can act only against the few uh, limited type of antigens, epitopes. And one more important difference is there is no immunological memory in innate immunity. Innate immunity does not have any immunological memory. The meaning of which is if the same infection occurs again and again, then the innate immunity response will remain the same. It will not be faster in the subsequent infection. In contrast, the acquired immunity, the immunological uh, memory will be there following the primary contact. So that if the same infection occurs again and again, then, then the response, the acquired immunity response will be faster in the subsequent contact. So what are the various microbial antigens? and they react to which host cell uh, receptors in innate immunity. The classical example of uh, microbial antigen which reacts with the host receptor is MAMP antigen which is uh, nothing but it is micro associated molecular pattern. This is the antigenic unit of the microorganism, they are the antigenic uh, unit of the microorganism which will bind to the corresponding receptors present on the host cell to initiate the immune response. So the host cell receptors which can bind to the MAMP antigens, they are example of those are called as pattern recognition uh, receptors. The classical example of this is toll-like receptor, toll-like uh, receptor. We will discuss about this in the subsequent.